Hello everyone, back to the to today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So, as well as on a Friday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the month ahead with the Japanese and CFS VT models. It can take us well into uh, now. Good Friday today, of course. So, thanks for tuning in to Gaz Weather. It's on your Good Friday. Hope you're having a lovely day. The weather certainly is uh, very, very nice out there. So, um, do make the most of it. We don't get many Easter's as good as this Easter uh, weekend is going to be. So, hopefully, you'll be able to get out and enjoy it. We'll be back later on this afternoon, by the way, with a week to 10 day video update, but more about that very shortly. Uh, so we're going to begin JMA Good Friday um, with the uh, Japanese 500 millibar height anomaly uh, flow charts break it down into weekly pairs from the North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here, middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere uh, around there. Blurs extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red, extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. And these, as I say, they're breaking down to weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from today, the 19th through to 27th of April. The coming week, then, will have high pressure dominating, high pressure over Scandinavia, and also stretching into uh, the UK and out into the Atlantic as well. Low pressure is in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, around Greenland and Iceland, and the jet stream being pushed north was something a little bit like that. So a lot of high pressure influences may be turning more unsettled with time in the north and west, but basically most parts of the country are dominated uh, by the high pressure. Then we get through to week two, which takes us from the 27th of April through to the 4th of May. Still above average heights, very close to us. Its exact position is changing, though, to be sitting more to our west, to the west of Ireland. Uh, low pressure is still up around Greenland and Iceland, the jet stream is pushed northwards as well. So again, it's been quite a lot of dry weather uh, to be in with that. The Atlantic is blocked off. The only difference is that it's a rather cooler scenario as the air is coming in from kind of like a northwesterly direction. So it's probably taking a bit of a dip as we go into the start of May, but you will think still quite a lot of dry weather on offer. And then we're into week three and four, it's the fourth through to the 18th of May. Bit of a change with this one, actually. We still have uh, a weak area of above average heights, kind of like to our west, northwest. Below average heights are forming to our south and southeast, which is rather unusual. Uh, so it's a complicated pattern. We are probably seeing the jet stream uh, doing something a little bit like that, perhaps. So the upshot is that we are close to a trough of below average heights, especially to the south and southeast, which might threaten some quite wet weather uh, to the south and southeast and possibly some cooler temperatures as well. You wouldn't rule out pulling down some quite cool air from the northeasterly direction with that, with the low pressure just there and the high pressure out to there. So it's quite an unusual pattern, quite a strange pattern. Um, as we go through the early part of May, it might be turning cooler and more unsettled. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid-latitude view next then. So uh, British Isles is just here in the top right-hand corner of, of the chart. As you're at, you can't see the North Pole. That's off the chart up here. But of course, we're just looking at that view down. So reminder of the uh, week one, 500 millibar height to normally high pressure stretching in from the Atlantic through the UK and also going to our east for jet streams pushed off up there. So plenty of dry weather on off the you'd have thought in the week ahead. Also warm temperature anomalies of the week ahead are coming out much warmer than average from the 19th through to 27th of April. Precipitation anomalies, a little bit wetter than average in the far north, parts of Scotland a bit above average with precipitation, but elsewhere, uh, actually, it's a drier than average week coming up. Week two, 500 millibar heights takes a high pressure out to the west of us, so the high pressure centres to the west of Ireland, jet streams pushed off uh, up there, but maybe also some influence from uh, the northwest as well. Temperature anomalies are still a little bit on the mild and average side, but they are lowering, so it's an idea that the air is just uh, coming in from the northern Atlantic um, in this week, 27th of April to the 4th of uh, May. Temperatures are therefore just lowering a bit, but probably still a bit above average. Precipitation-wise, it's still fairly dry because the Atlantic is blocked off, so drier than average there 
uh, as well. And then we're into uh, weeks three and four. It's the fourth through to the 18th of May, with above average heights kind of like out to the west and northwest. Below average heights are sort of to our east and southeast, maybe pulling in some cooler air from the northwest and also perhaps a little bit more unsettled temperature anomalies are still close to a little bit above average so it's still holding up okay those central parts of europe are going colder than average below average interestingly and it's also turning more unsettled especially so for england and wales with precipitation creeping up and actually going a little bit above average here now it's a two-week anomaly so it might be transitional for up two weeks, it might not be all that bad, but it certainly does look as though as we go further into May. At the moment, anyway, the JMA wants to turn things cooler and more unsettled, particularly for the south and the east. Well, let's have a look at CFSV2, see how that compares. So these, again, 500 millibar heights, and they're broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from today, the 19th, through to the 25th of April. Perfect agreement between CFS and JMA. We have this big ridge of above average heights stretching from the east through the UK and out into the Atlantic as well. Below average heights are up to the northwest. The jet stream is pushing northwards uh, as well. So once again, we're under high pressure, lots of dry, fine conditions continuing uh, through the next few days. Week two is the 26th of April to the 2nd of May, with above average heights again from the Atlantic into the UK, rather like that. Below average heights are out to the northwest. The jet stream is pushing northwards as well, but perhaps just a little bit more influence from the jet. The ridge of high pressure is weakening slightly, so it possibly turns a little bit more showery particularly for the north and west, but even so, a lot of dry weather is on offer, and I wouldn't have thought there's too many problems with temperatures either. Week 3 is the 3rd to the 9th of May. The above average heights then are kind of like to the north, northwest of Scotland. Below average heights uh, through southern parts of Europe, interestingly, so it looks very unsettled through the Mediterranean. Uh, and above average heights over towards the Baltic and uh, sort of west parts of Russia. This could well be feeling in east or northeasterly winds. I would have thought still quite a bit of dry weather, especially for the north. Maybe some thundery showers threatening the south. Temperatures probably taking a little bit of a dip as the wind goes into the northeast. And then we're into week uh, four, which is the 10th to the 16th of May. Above average heights then uh, somewhere between Scotland and Iceland. Again, looks very unsettled for the Mediterranean and southern parts of Europe with low pressure down there. Um, probably bringing in more of a northeasterly flow there. So I think temperatures probably lower as we go through the first half of May. But all the time, we are blocking off the Atlantic. This is abnormal weather patterns, or these are abnormal weather patterns. So the Atlantic is blocked off. It would remain very dry. It's just that temperatures do take uh, quite a plunge or quite a dip, I would have thought. Week 1 temperature anomalies with the CFSV2 from the 19th to 25th of May, very significantly above average, a warm, even perhaps even a hot week coming up, uh, really, for the UK and for much of Europe too. We're talking about anomalies here, but kind of like 3 degrees or more above average, so a really warm week coming up. Week 2 is still a little bit above average, but significantly lower compared to week 1. This is the 26th of April to the, to the 2nd of May. Temperatures lower in week two, um, but it's still a little bit on the mild and average side. So we have got agreement, really, between the JMA and CFSV2 for the next couple of weeks. Anyway, most definitely they are agreeing on a very warm and dry start. And then temperatures, although still a bit above average in the second week, gradually come down to be much closer to average as the wind pulls in from the northern Atlantic. Uh, then real change as we get through to uh, week um, three. This is the 3rd to the 9th of May. Actually going a little bit cooler than average there in uh, week three, especially so for England and Wales. Notice most parts of Europe looking much cooler than average as well, Central Europe anyway. And then we're into week four, which is the 10th through to 16th of May. Temperature anomalies are gradually increasing, but this does look like a rather cooler start to May compared to where we leave off in April. Finally, precipitation anomalies. So uh, week one, precipitation anomalies from CFSV2 from the 19th to 25th of May, much drier than average in the week ahead. And also generally on the drier than average side in week two, the second, uh, 26th of, of April to the 2nd of May, generally drier than average there as well. 
Uh, week three is the 3rd to the 9th of May. Signal is weakening, but overall we're probably still on the drier side with that one. And then we go back to very dry conditions, actually, in week four, the 10th, through to the 16th of May, much drier than average. So if the CFS is right, the big talking point over the next four weeks will be the dryness. Very dry four weeks coming up, really, if the CFS is right. And the chairman is kind of signaling that as well, although it does turn more unsettled to England and Wales, probably from thundery showers or thundery rain edging up from the south and southeast in the, um, in the first half of May. But that's a rather unusual, rather bizarre pattern. And uh, chances are with that is that those heavy showers and the thundery rain will probably be kept away from us a lot of the time across uh, central and southwestern and southern parts of Europe. So it does look could be in for a very dry month of it overall. And a really warm start, the main temperature's lower anyway as we go through into the start of May. I think that's a general sort of signal from uh, JMA Friday this week. These large models are highly experimental and they are prone to change, so it could all look very, very different when we look at them again next week. We'll be back later on this afternoon with a week to 10 day video update, so uh, come back for that then. Loads of updates on the way over the weekend. It may be Easter, but we never stop at Gaswell Mid. So tomorrow, for example, we've got weekend forecast. We'll have a week to 10 day video update. CFS six month broadcast tomorrow as well. Sunday is going to be a really busy day because we've got Solar Sunday on the way. The first Solar Sunday since the summer. Uh, and we'll also uh, be giving away our prize. The competition will conclude and somebody will win that uh, temperature and humidity uh, forecast um, station that we've teamed up with metcheck.co.uk weather instrumentation to give away. So that'll be happening on Sunday. Probably going to begin May Day bank holiday weekends uh, updates as well uh, on Sunday and on bank holiday money we've got our historic video we are looking at the and we're not going very far back at all we're actually looking at the winter of 2017-2018 uh, including a beast from the east with um, this Monday's bank holiday uh, Easter bank holiday video so we don't stop at Gals well, the updates keep coming and uh, it's going to be a busy old weekend. But come back later on this afternoon when we'll have your week to 10 day video update. That's all for now, though. And thanks for watching.